hey, this is lesson uh, one, lesson one of the Back Carry Boot Camp. Uh, again, you see I'm not holding a child or a rat, so sorry, this is still a boring lesson. But the first lesson is a very important one, and it is readiness. Are you ready to back wrap? Um, and determining your own readiness does involve some um, self-awareness of your own wrapping skill and your child's developmental, uh, physical development. Uh, but I can give you some markers to look for so that you can determine if this is something that you are ready to learn. Technically, uh, it is safe to use a woven wrap to wrap even a newborn on your back. Uh, that said, wrapping a newborn on your back is an advanced skill. It requires a lot of uh, pre-existing wrapping skill because small babies have such delicate airways, even just something like slumping a little bit and they can pinch their own airway, which is obviously a serious safety concern. Um, as they get older, that becomes less and less of a concern. They become easier and easier to wrap. And so there's kind of this um, inverse relationship between baby's age and um, your existing wrapping skill. So we'll start with uh, newborns and very small infants. Um, I'm talking about babies that are um, either brand new or still kind of sloppy. They can, might be able to hold their head up a little bit, but they certainly can't sit up at all. Uh, very small infants, like under four months. Again, very delicate airways. They have to be wrapped extremely high for you to be able to monitor their breathing on the back of your neck. Um, if, unless you have already uh, back wrapped with a woven wrap other children and are very, very confident in your skills and know what you're doing, I wouldn't recommend learning with uh, a baby this age. They're just so delicate and I would focus on front carries and building some basic comfort with the woven wrap with skills like making a seat on the front, strand by strand tightening, pull wrap tightening, keeping tension on the wrap, things like that. Uh, and that way, when baby gets a little bigger and a little more sturdy, uh, you'll already have these skills that you can translate into back wrapping. But again, if you're accessing the back carry boot camp, I'm assuming that you have not done much back wrapping before, or you think that there's some skills that you still need to work on, in which case uh, I may ask that you hold off until baby is a little older and a little more sturdy. Uh, the second stage is uh, infants, for lack of a better term. Basically, I start this when baby can confidently tripod sit, so they can sit up as long as they're bracing their hands on something. Um, not completely sitting independently, but completely holding their own head up and starting to uh, get close to sitting up on their own all the way up to when they are crawling and learning to walk. Uh, so for just ballpark averages, we're talking about four or five months old through about a year old. Obviously, every baby hits milestones at their own time, but developmentally, that's kind of where we're talking right now. Um, if this is where your baby is, in general, as long as you have some good familiarity with the wrap on your front, uh, learning different carries, uh, you know how to uh, learn different pass orders, different carries, um, strand by strand tightening, whole wrap tightening, holding tension, making a secure seat, things like that, then I think it's reasonable at this point that you could start learning to back wrap. Um, I would make sure that you especially take your time with all the steps. Um, around four to six months old is when babies become a little bit better at protecting their own airway. But again, you still need that good positioning 
you want them up where you can see them over your shoulder and where they can breathe on the back of your neck. Uh, you can see them easily and you want to make sure you're monitoring that positioning because uh, they are still little babies and we want to make sure that we protect that airway and keep them safe. Uh, around uh, a year old or so when if your baby is uh, confidently sitting up, crawling, working on walking, especially once we get past into toddling and running. Once we get into toddlers who are that confident and uh, physically strong and able, uh, at that point I just say go for it. I don't care if you've learned to front wrap yet. At that point, you have my blessing to go ahead and just learn to back wrap. It is, to me, very hard uh, to learn how to wrap on the front with a toddler. They're just so heavy and you end up having to support so much of their weight on the front while you're wrapping. And at that point I find it easier to wrap on my back even though I can't see what I'm doing. And obviously different people feel differently about this. But if you've got a toddler and you've never learned to wrap on the front before or you've only used a stretchy on the front before or whatever, you've only used buckle carriers, then it's fine. I think going through the back carry boot camp, uh, you'll learn good fund fundamentals and you are safe to start learning with back wrapping, even if you haven't learned front wrap before. Um, if you are looking for front carries to start with, to kind of build those skills before you start learning to back wrap, uh, there's obviously lots of good options, but a lot of people start with front wrap cross carry variations as their first carry. But one of the reasons is because the cross passes going under baby's bum give you kind of a safety net. Um, so the seat doesn't have to necessarily be very secure and I think it's good to get away from that. So you start learning the construction of a good seat. And so I like carries like kangaroo carry, um, front reinforced traditional sling carry and robin hip carry. I think all of those are really excellent carries that take away that safety net of the cross passes um, and really focus on making a good seat. You learn to strand by strand tighten, especially around corners, around your shoulder. Um, and you really have to learn how to hold tension on the wrap while you're wrapping with those carries. I think they're really great prerequisites to back wrapping, but obviously there's hundreds of wrap carries and as long as you've got a good familiarity with the wrap, there's no right or wrong answer on what carries you learn first. So uh, that's lesson one. The only step for lesson one is just making sure that you are aware of your own skill and baby's uh, developmental skill and you think that those match up really well for being able to learn to back wrap and if you agree then you are welcome to move on to lesson two. So good luck with the back here in boot camp.